<laughs> God, you're so gullible. You know, if you keep uh, being this gullible. Well, you know. Ah, right, y'all, here we go again. Hey, what are you doing this morning already? Huh? Oh, Kaido? Oh, I forgot we're in Shu's room. So, okay. Right, he came to visit them. They had a whole altercation. So, let me talk to him. Uh, What's good? Um, uh, do you need something? On, well, yeah, food. I was going to eat breakfast with everyone in the dining hall, but you weren't there. And that's why I came to get huh? you. Uh, but I don't recall making any plans. I mean... You should be at the dining hall anyway. I mean, what else are you going to eat? Eat breakfast? Hey. Shitter. <laughs> My bad. I don't usually eat breakfast, so... Huh? Are you serious? If you don't have breakfast, then what are you gonna eat in the morning? Huh? Um, All right. whatever. Let's get going. The others are waiting. I like him, y'all. Yeah, he's trying to make an effort to amend things or just, like, keep the peace and try to, like, have a mutual respect for Shu. Oh. Despite what happened. Ah, wait, I'm not ready. Let me get my... Actually, never mind. I don't need that anymore. Okay, okay let's go. Ah. Need what? Oh, right. I was gonna tell you. My bad. I'm sorry about yesterday, you know, for slugging you like huh? that. Uh, that, it's okay. I see. You, I see, then let us go. This, this motherfucker is so cool, y'all. Oh my god, man. Alright, y'all, breakfast time with the breakfast club. Let's get into this dining hall, y'all. It's a new day. Kai, Kai got executed. Uh, motherfucking Rantaro got, you know what I'm saying? But hey, you know what? It's all good, right? It's because it's his talking raw put. <laughs> like someone tried to hide writing in grass. Weird, right? Uh Hmm, Atua says it's just graffiti. Atua don't know shit out here, Angie. And now we don't gotta worry about it anymore. Jeez. Atua, that's even more suspicious. My that's more su Yeah, are you saying Atua's sussy? What's y'all sad? That's none of your business. Jeez. What's up with you guys? Are you still talking about that graffiti? You know... Whatever, I brought shoes, so let's get start... Let's, let's, let's eat. <laughs> I quickly realized that everyone was staring at me. Huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? As I expected, they were looking at me with a surprise on their faces. What happened? What, 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 what happened? Good morning. Oh, shit. go! We got the same little cowlick as Hajime. Oh. Good morning. Oh. Oh, Shuichi. Um. You finally got rid Zay of that emo hat. I didn't even think it looked that bad died on him, y'all. No. Oh my God. Mail. Learn That's some a manners, degenerate mail. Thank you, oh. Tenko. Huh. You're not wearing your hat. I didn't even notice. <laughs> you could stand to learn some manners too, you insensitive jerk. <laughs> no, no, I just felt like it was getting in the way is all. No, I get that. Sometimes hiding doesn't always help. Uh, um. Oh, you don't have to stare. I just took off my hat. It's no big deal. That is correct. You're right. My apologies. I... I like it. I think you look more handsome with your hat off. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> now nice for you. I'm like playing Jane over here who turns invisible as soon as her glasses come off. I am playing, but the it's the other way around. Taking off my glasses reveals my true form. Dang, she called Sue <laughs> playing Jane? Mm hmm Didn't you know? Those who see my true form pay a terrible price. Listen up. Anyway, don't be late anymore, Sue. We've already decided we're eating breakfast together. This is stupid. You decided that on your yes, own. Yes, of course. Yes, yes. I prepared breakfast for everyone. Oh, they actually had a cook. It. Well, I think they had to cook it in D1. They did not have to cook it in D2 because they're the restaurant. Huh? Really, you did? That is correct. Indeed, it was no trouble at all. I prepared an Italian omelet, buttermilk pancakes, smoked salmon, galette. I don't know what galette is, to be honest, y'all. And for those who prefer Japanese cuisine, I prepared rice balls and miso soup. Hey! Kurumi, be my mom! <laughs> God, to why you be his mom, too? <laughs> what are you two even saying? Oh, yeah! Yeah, I'll show you guys something really neat. Look, when Himiko eats, she makes the cutest face. Oh, uh, she's like a small animal. Stop it. Stop it. You're making it hard for me to eat. We chatted casually as we began eating the food Kurumi brought out. Amazing. Gone to not mean to flatter, but all this food is so yummy. Excellent. Mmm, it's so delicious. It makes me want to cut off my tongue. What? Why would you want to do that if you enjoy the food? Mm -hmm. The rice balls aren't just ordinary old rice balls either. The outside is tightly packed so it won't fall apart, but the inside is nice and soft. Because the rice wasn't crushed, you can taste every sweet, sticky grain, even when it's cold. Jeez. Do you have, hey, do you have some sort of god tongue or something? Mm -hmm. By not crushing the rice, air is able to flow between each individual grain. The triangle shape itself is less important than maintaining the loose grip as you form the shape. You'll find it much easier if you image yourself gripping it with your entire body. Okay, I, I get that. I can't make rice balls. I can't even tell the difference between rice and termites. Hey. How have you survived this long? Oh. Um, what's wrong, Key Boy? You're not eating. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot you can't eat. You don't because you're a robot. Hey. Oh, hey, now don't look so down. I'll bring you a broken TV later. How is that supposed to help him? Why does this 
coming no. up. I don't want that. I, I'm not a waste receptacle. Yeah. Uh, Kibo and Ko Kichi seem to be getting along swimmingly. I don't really think you are quite aware of what's happening right now, Angie. To be honest, we're having a normal conversation as if nothing happened. We all knew it wasn't really normal. It was a forced conversation. But that's to be expected. That incident just happened yesterday after all. That's why everyone's forcing themselves. That's why. Oh my god. This kind of forced normalcy is just making us remember what happened. I mean, what else are they supposed to do, though? And what's the matter, Shu? If you're not going to eat this, I'll just help myself. Oh. I'm sorry. I was going to eat that. I pushed those unnecessary thoughts out of my head and shoveled food in my mouth. By the way, By the way that thing Gonta talked about earlier. Are we going to go check that out? What is he talking talking about <laughs> we making fun of her now that's crazy as hell come on quit fussing over some lousy graffiti and worry about your shit future instead huh? what's she talking about what for um, graffiti oh gone to find it this morning hey. oh right the horse a the, the horse's ass or whatever on concrete hidden in grass horse a written here hmm. huh what do you think it means well it means entirely shrouded in mystery I see. Even the ultimate anthropologist knows I thought it was some anthropology thing. I thought maybe it was Yo. too, but what about it, Shu? Let's hear the ultimate detective's opinion. Huh? Huh? I don't know. I don't know either. But... but... Gonta, I'm surprised you were able to find that graffiti hidden in the grass. He's you probably... Divine? Do you channel the divine too? Oh, no. Uh, no. That's because of tiny bugs. He's probably trying mm -hmm. to find them. Bugs, I thought vermin were nowhere near to be seen in this academy. Um, yeah, Gonta think about that before, but... but when walking down the choreo, Gonta think he see tiny bug. Mm. But bugs so tiny, even Gonta could... No could see. And Gonta have 20... What the hell? 20 slash 0.625 eyesight. So maybe Gonta just make a mistake, but Gonta think. Maybe. No, maybe Gonta just see things. Degenerate male. Ah, uh, just make up your mind already, you degenerate. Which means. So you found that message while you were chasing some bug. Oh. Wow, Gonta, you did it. I knew I could rely on you since the moment we met. Huh? What? Really? It's true. Yeah, you should work for me. <laughs> Stupid! No! What? Yo, come on, man. What? You're just gonna agree to it just like that? Hey. Be careful, Gonta. This guy's a real liar. <gasps> but really? Yeah, really! <laughs> uh, no way! Thank goodness! Good, then Gonta, no reason to worry. Well, you just believe anyone. <laughs> Gonta, you're so gullible. You know, if you keep uh, being this gullible. I just feel like I entered Doki Doki Literature Club. Someone about to die kind of situation. What the heck is this? Is this like true form coming out right now and all that? You'll be killed before you know it. Understand? Yeah, I think it's pretty f clear after your hair turned white and your skin turned completely pitch black. Ugh. The moment Kokichi said that word, the warm casual mood shattered. What's the matter? What's wrong, everyone? Is there a problem with Kokichi's advice? Yeah. Oh, Kokichi, you know should say thing like that even as a joke. Mm -hmm. hmm, say the word kill. Has the K word been banned? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> but that's not very reasonable, is it? Now when the killing game is still happening. Mm -hmm. How can you be so insensitive, especially after what happened yesterday? I'm ready! This is why I hate the gender males. They about to be considered amoebas. Hey. I don't know what an amoeba is. I know it's something scientific, but that's about as far as I know of it. Don't complain if someone scary guy yells, what color is your blood at you? You really don't get it. It's that kind of talk that lets Monokuma play you all like fiddles. Huh? Oh? What did you hear that? Don't mind me. I was just talking to myself. This motherfucker. Ridiculous. And he's here. Okay, awesome. My, fa my favorite person. Hello! Oh! Looks like you guys are having a good old time. Let me join in this shit. Yeah. Yeah, we're having a jolly good time ganging up on me. What? Isn't that your fault? Huh? Ganging nuts. Hey! No bullying. Bullying is not cool. Bullying is the worst. Yeah. Firstly, I'm I think annoying. bullying is because of lousy parenting. Yeah. It's all parents' fault. They should do a better job raising their kids. More importantly. Why are you even here? Yeah. Oh, I figured I'd give you guys a prize for surviving the class trial. You better give me some. I want some cheese or something like that. And by cheese, I mean money, y'all. So huh? get me out of this bitch. A prize. Rise and shine or sign. Oh my god, there's only four. I forgot. Um, uh, the reward, right? We brought, we brought it, yep, so I'll just give it to you then. I feel like he's on our side, by the way, y'all. I'm not sure. My kids seem to be a little under the weather, but even so, they're still, fre still freaking adorable. Uh-oh, what happened here? Did y'all miss Mono Kid? Are you being bullied? Oh. That's some. I knew it. I knew it. I understand from experience. From experience, Himiko, you were a victim of bullying in the past? 
that why your heart is broken you can't express real emotions anymore you're the worst of the worst uh, i'll use your magic to turn the human rejects who build you into mishap Stop wretches it. i don't use my magic for stuff like that and i don't just make up my backstory huh? uh, hold on the monocups bully each other what? no way the monocups should always get along oh, oh he is pissed hey you kids play nice right i'm not a lousy pair am i Even if you do believe each other real bad, it's not because I'm a bad dad, right? We are all friends. We all get along always. Huh? Oh, yes, we do. Right? My children are good kids. They would never bully each other. Why you? The bullying will never stop because of people like you. Oh, well. Well, I think the threatening vibe we monocubs give off is perfect. And that's that. Because we're a team of scary badasses who are going to drag you down to hell. <laughs> Such adorable little badass. Anyway, we're gonna hand out the rewards you all have been waiting for. An ocarina. Because we got these here fabulous, nonsensical prizes for you. An orb, an ocarina, a crank. I don't know what the last thing is. Almost a like a dragon wart. gem, an ocarina, an ancient passport, oh. and a hexagonal crank from uh, some zombie game. Okay. These prizes all come in a bundle. Okay. Wow. What a bunch of random junk! Bravo! Bravo! They definitely Yay! ain't random. I don't get why these are prizes, but aren't they lovely anyway? Huh, a dragon gem? What? What's all this crap? What are we supposed to do with to this? Honestly, truth. I'm not sure. Maybe there's a way to use them without knowing what they're for. Who cares? Just put your best foot forward. It's easier to move forward than backward. How nice. No. Don't get inspired by him, Gonta. Yeah. Anyway, that's the situation, so just do best however you please we let's go what you're gonna get payback for all the bullying by attacking us in our secret weak point <laughs> secret weak point you mean the nape of our necks <laughs> not that anything but that actually wait so the nape of your necks is your weak point I, I would never do that i just want to get along yeah. what get along really you stupid don't let them fool you you killed mono kid remember so, so long, long. Oh, we got some discord amongst the monocubs, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. Seeing that robot looking one get left out makes me think of Kiba. Huh? Why? He's so good. I just, I just, I just stirring up. I love it. Am I really excluded? Hey. So what should we do with this jump? Maybe we need to use these on those mysterious things all over the campus. And what will happen when we do? Uh, I'm not sure. See? But we'll know once we try. I'll take the junk then. Uh, no, let's leave this to Shu. Huh? What, me? Hey! You're the ultimate detective, yeah? You should be good at weirdo puzzles like this. Got it. I'm gonna leave it to you. I think also, uh, you would be a good uh, one to leave it with, okay. too. Okay, I'll try. Yeah. Man, whatever. I guess that's fine. I guess I need to go around the academy and figure out what these mysterious objects are for. Alright, let's get going. Okay, y'all. I think this is where the dragon orb goes. So the dragon gem. Oh! What's it unlocking? Oh, a new part of the school. Okay, right on. I know everybody got like their own little lab or whatever. Oh. Maybe that's part of it. Part of the wall is gone. Oh. oh, that's so cool. We can get past this wall now. All right, charge. Well, let's go a little carefully. Oh. Maybe just don't just Wait, charging is dangerous. Um, What's up, Karumi? What's wrong? No. Nothing, I feel stagnant air drifting from this damaged wall. As if no one has set foot beyond this point for quite some time. Huh? Nobody's been here for a long time. Exactly how long is a long time, though? All right, let's see. Okay, I feel like I'm playing Zelda right now, but... What's this, a treasure yeah! chest? Yo, we found a treasure chest. Why don't you open this shoe? Do we even have a key? Huh? Really, should I open it? I believe the treasure chest is saying you should open his shoe. I'm getting a sense that she thinks it's dangerous and wants me to open it. Hmm. All right, fine. So, it palms, I cautiously open the chest and... Locked? Is it locked? Huh? Oh, what's this? A flashlight? No, it can't just be a flashlight. Yoo-hoo! It looks like a light. Hey. No, that's too dangerous. We should inspect it. Mm -hmm. huh? It'll be okay. Even the flashlight is saying, turn me on. <laughs> turn me on. Hurry up and turn me on. She wants begging you. Then... If you're so eager, then why don't you flip the switch, Angie? Well, then. Then I'll meet you halfway and inspect this flashlight myself. Huh? Me meeting me halfway, bye, huh? Yonara. Once you understand, I'll come teach you. Okay, bye, Nara. Angie snatched the flashlight from me and ran off with a bounce in her step. Wait, inspect it how? 
This is a strange door. This might be an ultimate research lab. Okay, this is probably Gauntus because there's bugs all over it. Based on the design, it could be the ultimate entomologist lab. So there's probably bugs in it. Okay, he's here. Ugh. Wait, these are mechanical. Well, look at all those bugs. And six specimens lined the very wall. It was a little, no, very gross. Amazing. Amazing. This is paradise. I suppose I have to keep my opinion for myself for now. Yeah, this is crazy, but all those look mechanical. Okay, so we got books here. There are a lot of books here. They all seem to be related to insects. There are a ton of insect specimens on display. Wow. Pretty bugs. Bugs shine brighter than sparkly rocks. Mm. Gone to understand, person who made these samples must love bugs. Each sample made with love and care. Putting love and care into bugs? Well, I suppose everyone's different. Amazing. Amazing. Gone to wonder how many bugs there are. Gone to so excited to get an own mm. special room. Who make this room anyway? Gontas need to say thank you. Huh? Mm, I suppose it was Monokuma and the Monokubs. I think there's probably a previous entomologist that probably went to this school and made this. Huh? Uh, no way, Monokuma. <sighs> but no, person who likes bugs can be a bad person. Gontas sad. Well, that's an extraordinary amount of bug cages. Mm -hmm. Hmm, lots of larvae and eggs, and they even sleeping in cold place. Uh, um... They were refrigerated? What? It's okay, uh, eggs probably hatch if Gontas take good care of them. Well. well, do your best then. If these all hatch, there'll be bugs all over the Academy releasing these bugs in a new world. It's like that Bible story. Noah's Ark. If I remember correctly, the world was destroyed by a great flood and humans and animals began. Perhaps it's a little too dramatic? Well, look at this door. Must be an ultimate research All right. lab. Alright, let's go inside. I have not a clue what this Oh, it's Kurumi's. Oh yep. Hmm. Yep. This room gets off of an antique vibe. Why is he in here? These are Victorian. These decorations are drawn by the British Empire at the peak of the Queen Victoria's reign. Yeah. This must be my research lab. During the Victorian era, employing a maid was considered a status symbol. If I remember correctly. Speaking of a Victorian era, Jack the Ripper was from that time, correct? That is correct. Ever the detective, I see. Huh. So this is the ultimate maid's lab, but just seems to be perfectly suited for Kurumi. There's a doll and dining room table, perhaps a family yes. dinner. This is my research lab, then I presume these figures represent those I must serve. I wonder if there's a bunch of maid uniforms in this closet. Oh, laundry? There's a bunch of laundry machines, vacuums, and pressure washers. That is. These appliances are proved most useful when I perform my cleaning. Huh? Cleaning? You mean the school? Kurumi, you don't have to do that. I do that. not agree. I do not mind. To serve others is a maid's duty. Selfless devotion is a principle by which I perform my responsibilities as a maid. I must cast aside my personal feelings for the sake of serving everyone else. Mm. I suppose that's what makes you the ultimate maid. Most people wouldn't do that. Please let me know if you have a request. Given our situation, I will not take monetary payment. I will grant your wishes. I will do anything you ask. Anything. That's kind of intimidating if you say it like that. Don't get the wrong idea, Shu. Okay, these are some powerful cleaning tools. You could get a lot of cleaning done with these. In the Victorian era, many servants lived beneath the manner in which they were employed. They were known as downstairs people as a stark reminder of their lower station. There are a lot of washing machines in here. Excellent. Mm, Victorian, this room is quite tasteful. I don't dislike gothic styles such as this. Mm. Uh, me too. I see. It appears this is Kurumi's research lab. Being in here brings a tale to mind. Hor closed his eyes and spoke as if in a trance. The air is 19th century England. A gentleman who pledged his loyalty to a queen and a modest but beautiful maid. The story of a love that blooms between light and darkness of social classes. Hey. That sounds like the plot of a manga for girls. <laughs> it kind of do. He ain't wrong, y'all. <laughs> Is that so, Dan? Are you saying I'm some young love struck girl? So that is how I'm reflected in your eyes. Fascinating. That's not what you said. I have no idea what this is supposed to mean. Cora is such a weirdo, y'all. All right, y'all, we're gonna end this one right here. I know it's a little short because I think I'm gonna split this segment up in the next segment for, for this week's video. So appreciate everybody tuning in. As always, y'all already know. Make sure if y'all enjoyed the video, subscribe. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. I love hearing from y'all. Make sure to turn on the notification bell so y'all get all the notifications. Check out the links down below in the description for my socials. I got a, an X, an Instagram, and a Discord. And we're just going to keep grinding through Donkey Rampa, y'all. Y'all be enjoying it. I'll be putting it out there. That's what it do. And just, yeah, appreciate everybody who has been watching. There will not be a video, unfortunately, uh, for next Monday. It's my editor's birthday, y'all. I'm trying to do something a little big, if y'all feel me. So, yeah. So, we're going to go kick it. Have another week off. When I took that other day off, it was my birthday weekend. So after this, there'll be like, there won't be any breaks unless something severe comes up. I don't usually like to do breaks, but I was feeling a little bit of a burnout. I really, really needed the break that I took like recently. So just between 
that week and this week coming up. I'm done, but it's been, uh, I, I needed it, y'all. It's just been, with everything happening, sometimes life gets real crazy and it catches up with you. And sometimes you just need to turn the brain off. And these, these, these videos are a process, but not that that's a problem because we love doing them and we want to stay motivated and keep doing them so we can make the best content for y'all. So anyway, yeah, that's my, that's my spiel. All right, y'all. I love y'all. I'm gonna see y'all next time. Happy spring. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Peace.